Hi guys, I hate to break this to you, but the UK government are reviewing a proposal to cut down on net migration into the country further. Now, this proposal that they are reviewing involves people on the health and care worker visa, people on the shuttered occupation list, and it affects a lot of people. Now, what they are saying is dependent of those on the health and care worker visa would not be allowed to come with their main applicants if this proposal is approved and they are also looking to increasing the minimum amount to be paid to people on this category to 30,000 per annum. So if this is something that you are interested in, you would want to stay to the end of this video so you are informed and you would know what the implication is for people coming in from abroad and for people in the UK as well. If you're just seeing my face for the first time, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Mercy. I am a nurse. I am currently practicing in the UK. And on this channel, we talk about nursing, migration, updates in the UK, vlogs. And I hope it's something you will find beneficial to like the content on this channel, to subscribe and to share it to friends and family, to people that you think would find the content beneficial. And without wasting your time, let's get right into the video. Just a bit of an overview, the UK government have a list called the Shorted Occupation List that contains different professions that are eligible to migrate to the UK. Now on that list, you have professions like doctors, nurses, healthcare assistants, support workers, you have different other professions on there as well. And what the UK government did was to reduce the threshold, that's the salary now that employers need to meet to be able to employ people from abroad so what the minimum threshold is at the moment is 26,200 you can see on the shorted occupation list that support workers usually earn about 20,000 per annum now if they were not on the shorted occupation list they would not be able to migrate to the UK and when this was added to the shuttered occupation list a lot of people moved to the country and they have recorded a very high number of people that have moved into the UK about over half a million <laughs> okay now not just people moving in they are moving in with their dependents as well so you have legal migrants you have illegal migrants and you have a lot of people that have just moved into the country so the UK government have come out to say okay well, it's time for us to reduce this number of people moving into the country even if you're coming legally or illegally they want to cut down on that what they did previously was to review a proposal and say students coming in to do masters will not be able to bring their dependents and that's from January of next year 2024 and that proposal went through a lot of hearings and it has been approved so from January 2024 master students will not be able to come with their dependents now a lot of talks are going around and saying oh they want to take out health and care worker visa people who are doing support work take it out from this shuttered occupation list so that they will not be eligible to move into the country but I'm here to tell you that that has not been agreed yet. So if you are a support worker and you are in the process of moving to the UK, continue your process. The proposal that is in the house that people are talking about right now is they are saying that people on the health and care worker visa, so nurses, support workers, they are proposing that they should not be able to come with their dependents. So that's the first on the proposal. They should not be able to come in with their dependents. So I don't think that's a great plan because if I legally come to the country to work, it means that I have a contract of a duration of time. So take, for example, it could be three years, it could be five years. And if I move into the country for that duration of time, I should not come with my dependents. <laughs> Who am I hustling the money for? I'm practically doing all of this work and all of this hustle for the betterment of myself and for my family. And bear it in mind, I'm also paying tax and I'm a legal 
immigrant in the country so it's not as if i moved in illegally but what they are proposing is that people coming in under this category should not come in with their dependents and that's a means of them reducing migration into the country there was another paper i read where they are saying that you can only come in with one dependent now i don't know what they would decide to do but if that's the case who would you come in if you've got a husband if you've got a wife if you've got kids who would you choose leave it in the comment section so i can hear what your decisions are so now that's one of the proposal and what that implies is a lot of people would not want to consider uk as part of their options because they would rather go to other countries who would give them the right to move in with their dependents a lot of people are also leaving the country as well so a lot of nurses are going to australia to the us to canada just because the uk is not giving do you understand like that giving that they came into the country for it's no longer giving so they're going to other places that would meet the needs that they want that's one secondly the minimum allowance or let me put it this way the salary that an employer is supposed to pay someone on the skilled worker visa or the shorted occupation lease is twenty six thousand two hundred what they are proposing now is to increase that threshold to 30,000 per annum. Not a lot of employers would pay that because when they see that they're paying somebody that amount and then doing the whole certificate of sponsorship and doing every other documentation that they have to do, they would rather employ people who are already in the country than going through that whole stress of bringing someone from abroad. And because not a lot of employer will be able to meet that, people from abroad would find it difficult getting a job in the country which in turn would reduce the migration as they intend to do something else i saw is the former swella breverman before she was sacked she was proposing that the amount be increased to forty thousand per annum i mean even nurses do not end up to that I'm telling you, <laughs> entry band five nurse do not end up to 40,000. So which job would you apply that would give you that even as a band six nurse that I am right now, I do not end up to 40,000. I mean, there are some locations like say London that has high cost area allowance that probably could pay up to that. But every other aspect of the UK do not end up to 40,000 as a band five or band six nurse. So you, you see all of these restrictions that they're putting in place, what they are doing indirectly is making the UK not juicy for people to come into the country, not, I don't know, should I say welcoming for people to come into the country. And because of all of these restrictions, people would consider other options and not move into the country. So like I said, this is a proposal that is still being deliberated upon but bear it in mind that's how they started with the student visa and now they have concluded on that so what i'm going to say today is this proposal is still undergoing a review it has not been concluded yet so i will advise that if you are still in the process of moving into the uk continue your process but have a plan b just in case because immigration rules and laws changes every day we can just wake up tomorrow and see that this law has been implemented and we cannot tell when it's going to happen or if it is going to happen i mean there is still a lot of vacancy i'm telling you the shortage in the country is still high and i don't think the UK government would want to agree to such rules, but they are very big on family. So I don't think it is right to say someone coming to the country legally to work should not come with a person's family. But who am I? I'm just an immigrant in the country. They can make these rules and they can make the decisions from their own end. So if this is something you would want to be updated about, you would want to subscribe, like the video as well so that 
it would be pushed out to other people to be informed and when a decision is made i will come back on the channel to talk about it and talk about what the decisions are and what it is that the uk government would want to do okay so i'm hoping you have smashed the subscribe button you have liked it you have turned on your post notification bell so that when next i put out a content you would be the first to be informed and until the next time, you keep being amazing and have a wonderful day.